Hey everybody, it's Shroom and welcome to another TF2 video. This video I am playing Scout on Kong King? King Kong? Koth King? Whatever this map's name is. And I have like three commentaries on this map already. I have no idea why it's so high, but I don't know. I just see a lot of King of the Hill servers play this map a lot. And I don't know, I just tend to join King of the Hill servers because King of the Hill is one of my favorite game modes. Probably my second after 5CP. And. Yeah, sorry if you get bored of this map or whatever. I do enjoy playing it, and I am playing Force of Nature Scout on it, which surprisingly is not that good on this map. I mean, you think a map full of ceilings and awnings and stuff you can stand on would be good for a loadout you can triple jump with and even super jump with if you use the um, the fan jump there that you think it would be good on this map, but surprisingly it's not that good. And originally I didn't want to upload this gameplay because we kind of... You can see by the video length, we kinda poop on the enemy team. <laughs> Sadly, I it wasn't a very good match, but oh well, it, it works. So I just decided to blow this anyway because I felt like making commentary, and uh, this was the only kind of TF2 footage I had. So I am sorry about that. But YouTube managed to break subscriptions for like two whole days, and I think it's still go ongoing. Some people haven't fixed their subscription boxes yet, and. I don't know how YouTube breaks their main source of income, as well as a lot of people's livelihoods, that easily. But if they did, if if someone just manages to break something that integral without beta testing, and I am actually quite worried. That is a severe lack of disregard for their own job, whoever did it, because you're breaking a lot of people's livelihoods. There, a lot of people rely on their subscriptions. I saw a YouTuber go from twenty-one thousand views per video to only 800 as the latest video, which kind of why I was reluctant to put out that last randomized video, which I am sorry about actually, I don't think that video was particularly good, maybe, I, I don't know, it's just my opinion, I just don't think it was good at all. I did want to redo it, but I didn't have much time, so sorry about that. But, some upcoming news as well, the Battlefield 4 open beta, it's coming soon, like October 1st, that's in 5 days from now, and honestly, who cares? I mean, to me, Battlefield 4 just seems so much like an exaggerated tech demo now. It just seems kind of stupid. I mean, the developers at DICE, they just seem to be so, so hell-bent on the facts, or on the idea, sorry, not fact, idea, that bigger maps equals better game, and that better graphics equals better game. Even, better graphics you can't turn down, even. Like the ones in Battlefield 3, you could not turn down most of the graphics settings in Battlefield 3. They were just sim like lens flare stuff like that. That was, I think, a bad developer decision on their part, alienating a lot of people with not so good computers. And they seem to be so stuck in like the more your graphics card is screaming, the better of a game it is. And I don't agree with that. I mean, look at smaller games, Counter Strike. It is five versus five, or at least in the competitive scene or whatever that game mode. And that is still one of the most critically acclaimed shooters of all time. And you might see a few videos of it. You might not. There is one video I'm definitely going to do of it, but it's going to be extremely sarcastic, and a lot of you might not like it because sarcasm tends to go over the head of a lot of people. But, anyways, you can see this match is coming to a close. Uh, thank you for watching, and yeah, hopefully, I'll get another video out soon, and hopefully, YouTube doesn't break subscriptions again.